What if your home was suddenly the center of a violent conflict? This is the stark reality for the people of Sudan. In recent times, this African nation has become a battleground. The Sudanese army and the paramilitary rapid support forces, or RSF, are locked in a fierce and escalating conflict with the capital, Khartoum, at the heart of the unrest. Despite a ceasefire being announced, it's proving to be nothing more than a hollow promise as hostilities continue unabated. The ceasefire, intended to be a pause, a moment of respite, has failed to quell the violence. Instead, the city's echoes are not of peace, but of gunfire and strife, painting a grim picture of a nation caught in the throes of conflict. The United Nations warns this conflict could displace up to 800,000 people, including Sudanese and foreign refugees. Behind the headlines are real people, with real lives, caught in the crossfire. The human toll of the Sudan conflict is staggering. The health ministry reports 528 lives lost and 4,599 injuries. Yet the United Nations believes the actual toll is higher, much higher. And then there are the displaced. 73,000 people have already left Sudan, their homes, their lives, everything they knew. They are seeking refuge wherever they can in neighboring countries like Egypt, Chad, South Sudan and Ethiopia. These are not just numbers, but individuals, families, communities, each with a story of survival, of resilience, and of the hope to return home someday. The international community is taking note. Foreign governments, including the US and UK, have been evacuating their citizens, highlighting the severity of the crisis. The conflict's impact goes beyond the immediate violence, leading to a deepening humanitarian crisis. As we delve deeper into the situation, we find that the residents of Sudan face limited access to basic necessities, Power supplies are erratic if they exist at all, and clean water is becoming a scarce commodity. The food supplies are dwindling rapidly, and fuel, a necessity for transportation and cooking, is almost non-existent. The healthcare system, an essential pillar of any society, is crumbling under the strain. Most hospitals and clinics are out of service, leaving the wounded and the ill with nowhere to turn. This healthcare blackout is not only alarming but also heartbreaking as it leaves the most vulnerable in society without the care they desperately need. The United Nations and other aid organizations, which would typically step in to help, have had to cut services due to the ongoing conflict. This further exacerbates the situation, leaving the people of Sudan in an even more precarious position. Despite the grim circumstances, there are glimmers of hope. The World Food Programme is resuming operations in secure areas, a small ray of hope amid the crisis. As Sudan descends into chaos, the world watches and responds. The International Monetary Fund, or IMF, has stepped forward, expressing its willingness to support the beleaguered country, a ray of hope in an otherwise dismal situation. But they are not alone in their concern. Around the globe, governments are responding to the crisis pulling their citizens out of the conflict zone in large-scale operations, especially by the United States and the United Kingdom. The United Nations, too, has been vocal about the dire situation, warning of potential displacement of up to 800,000 people. Many have already sought refuge in neighboring countries, a testament to the severity of the situation. Yet, despite these efforts, the crisis continues to escalate. Aid organizations find themselves in a difficult position, forced to cut services due to the ongoing violence, though the World Food Programme is resuming operations in more secure areas. This international response is a testament to the global community's concern and commitment, but it also underscores the gravity of the situation. Yet, the situation remains unprecedented and the future uncertain. In these desperate times, what can we as global citizens do? The answer is, we can make a difference. In today's interconnected world, every action we take can ripple out, causing change. The crisis in Sudan isn't just a headline, it's a tragedy that impacts real people. Spreading awareness about this conflict is the first step. Talk about it, share it on social media, 
write to your local representatives, encourage them to take a stand. But awareness alone isn't enough. We must also support the work of the humanitarian organizations who are on the ground providing much needed aid. These organizations are the lifeline for those affected. They provide food, water, shelter and medical care. Donations are a tangible way to help. No amount is too small. Each contribution can have a significant impact. And remember, aid isn't just about immediate relief, it's also about long-term recovery. Your voice, your willingness to spread awareness, your donation to aid organizations, these can make a difference. Stand with Sudan.